Hello plant friends! My name is Jimmy. I'm a doctor and tropical plant hobbyist in LA and this channel is about plants. So if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I really don't do that many um, plant hauls or plant unboxings or you know shop with me videos or even even plant tours of my place but if you have been watching this channel for a while you also know that what we really like doing on this channel what I really like doing is promoting other people in the plant community I like promoting you know other youtubers sellers growers collectors uh, people who I feel contribute to the plant community who are good role models um, and I feel that you know uh, we should do our best to you know recognize some of these people and spread you know more joy and positivity and and all that good stuff so this uh, episode is going to be um, a a plant unboxing so I got this plant from Brad and Connie who are the owners of Emerald City Vivarium in Seattle. Um, obviously, I didn't go to Seattle, even though I love that city, uh, to pick up this plant. This plant was shipped to me. Um, yeah, it's, it seems like a lot of reptile shops also sell plants, or a lot of plant shops also sell reptiles. <laughs> so, so I actually bought this plant off Facebook. Uh, it's uh, I got it from, what's that group called? It's a... Uh, Rare Tropical Plants Auctions. Um, that's the, the group name. I'll, I'll put it down there somewhere. Uh, Ryan. Ryan is uh, a seller and a buddy of mine who I got my last unboxing plant from. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it above and in the description below. So uh, he he's one of the moderators for that group, and he you know they I think they do an excellent ex excellent job. And it's a private group on Facebook, and what that group does is that you know growers, collectors, sellers, basically anyone can um, just you know list a plant for auction, uh, and you know people bid on it, and then it gets sold uh, that way. So I really really enjoy that group because you know you find some really really unique plants. I some groups. You know, they, they post I would what I would consider very common plants. Uh, so I think this group is, does a really good job of sticking to the rare and more uncommon ones. So you, you find some really interesting and really weird stuff on there. Um, so, so I really like it. It's actually one of my favorite uh, Facebook groups to, to buy plants. Anyways, let's, uh, let's just get to this. I, um, I opened it already. Uh, well, I... Cut, yeah, I cut the tape. Yeah, you, know, you guys know what, you guys know what I mean. All right, um, just wanna let you guys know, I, I, I honestly do not remember um, what exactly this plant is. I know it's an anthurium. I think it's like a dark anthurium or a textured anthurium, just because that, those are the types of anthuriums that I'm into. So um, I bought this, ooh, okay, so this thing, uh, this video is filmed towards the middle of December. I think I bought this like three, three months ago. Uh, yeah, I think I bought it like three months ago. And then I've, you know, I think I've either been busy or the, the seller has been busy. And then I went uh, traveling for a while. Uh, so, you know, so I, I kept asking Brad to just hold this for me. So I think he's babysat this thing for almost three months for me. So Brad, thank you very much. Um, yeah, I, I'm usually not in that much of a hurry to receive my plans as long as, as long as I do. Um, I think that's fine. I think as long as there's good communication between the buyer and seller and both sides are, you know, in agreement are good with uh, the timing of shipment. I, I think it's it's all fine. So, anyways, thank you, Brad, for for holding onto this plant for so long while I was I was traveling. All right. So, uh, oh yeah, this is a really well packaged. Um, look, he even he even gave me directions on on how to how to uh, open it. Well, wow, so yeah. Oh, okay, there is a there's a note. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy, Brad, Emerald City City Vivarium, P 
P.S. Added an extra Philo as a thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so so here's the, the inside of it. I, I hope it focuses. But uh, you can see that he packaged his and um, there's like styrofoam, I think, on all, all sides. And then there's, okay, so let's see exactly what's, what's in this. Man, I think people's, people's uh, shipping and packaging game has, has certainly gone up through, through the years, or not even through the years, probably like even since the beginning of this year, the, the packaging game has, has really gone up, which is great. I think that's great. Uh, for people who are doing more online, uh, you know, plant shopping, people who are, who are getting more shipments. I think it's great that the, the standard of shipping has, has really gone up. You know, I think that's, that's great. Um, I do want to say that as, as buyers, you know, I think we should also be aware that, you know, sometimes the plants do come to us and they are a little stressed from the shipping for you know, some plants are just more easily stressed than others, and then sometimes we have like weather conditions that are either too hot or too cold that sort of stress out the plant. So I think as as sellers, we should be a little bit more understanding of of yellow leaves or you know or just stress. Um, so as uh, as the sellers are are upping their shipping game as they should. Um, I think that the the buyers uh, we should be, um, you know, maintaining consideration and and understanding. Okay. Oh, so this is the Anthurium clidemoides. Okay. Yeah. I. <laughs> if you ask me, like, what what Anthurium it, uh, you got, this was not. I would have not been able to tell you that. I mean, I, I literally I'm reading it right now, and I can barely. <laughs> You know, even pronounce it, clid um, or clyde clydemoides. Nice. All right, so container. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. So this is the first time I've actually seen this plant in real life, or at least I don't remember seeing it previously in real life. And the the leaves, they really feel like. Um, the only thing that comes to mind is like thick mint. You know how the, the herb, uh, the mint herb is like textury? Uh, so this thing really feels like a thicker, a thicker version of that, right? So it's not as like, the leaf itself is not as, as like floppy. Um, ooh, yeah. Yeah, it, it really just feels like, like thick mint. Um, yeah, good, a really, really fun texture. So it's textured in the front, and if you, in the back, you know, again, the, the texture is still there. Wow. Oh yeah, this is, this guy, this guy looks really fun. One of the things that people should know about when they're hunting down or looking for these really textured uh, anthuriums. A lot of them require really, really high humidity. So the humidity at my place right now and during the winter, it's like 55 to 60. I'm really hoping that that's going to be okay. If some of these leaves, uh, the tips start to, to brown or crisp up, then, you know, that wouldn't surprise me. And then I would just have to up the humidity of my automated humidifiers. Anthurium clidemoides. So, so I'm just trying to check the roots. This is one of the things that I always check uh, when the plant comes. I'm, I'm pretty lenient when it comes to, you know, leaves yellowing or even like some leaf or leaves like dropping off uh, during shipment. But I'm really not lenient on the roots. Yes, they can be a little dry, but one of the things I really don't accept or I have a low tolerance for is uh, root rot during the shipping process. If you bought a plant like this, for example, and you had, you know, like a huge root ball and some of that is rotted, I think that's okay. You still have a lot of roots to work with. But, you know, let's say like if, if I got this, you know, and 
most of these roots are rotted, then it's like, well, what exactly do I have to work with? You know, that's the most important part, right? The, the leaves will grow back as long as the roots are good. These roots are great. Uh, lots of new growth. Really, really cool. For these guys, um, you really want to be careful about uh, having um, water on the leaves for too long. For these guys, I would be hesitant to, to miss them unless there were very good air circulation. Right? Like I would not miss these guys unless you had a really good window uh, nearby where air is going around or like a fan in your setup because I find that when the water stays on them, the leaves, the, the leaves tend to be very sensitive to bacterial and fungal overgrowth from stagnant water. All right, so I think uh, that's sort of what I have to say about that guy. Ooh. And then, let me see. Oh, oh. So this is, uh, this is the gift. Oh, thank you so much, Brad. Philodendron Petacopus from Ecuador. All right, you see this? Oh, this guy looks like a really fun one. I feel like this guy is probably a terrarium plant. It looks hardy enough to survive outside, but uh, usually these small ones with little leaves and uh, people tend to like these in terrariums. Um, so hopefully I'm just gonna keep this guy alive until I start a terrarium set up at some point. Yeah, really, really nice one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm probably just gonna leave this like sitting in moss like this. Uh, tell I figure out what what to do with it um, looks really good uh, the roots look great yeah this will be an interesting one I wonder if I can also put this on one of my moss pole setups um, I think that would be kind of cool too so maybe I'll maybe I'll try that um, I'll think about it but all right so this one is the philodendron patopter for top tuss. I I should not be pronouncing plant names. <laughs> All right, so so that's it for my unboxing video. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Till next time, happy planting.